Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hayden and today I have a new unboxing for you. Something that I've wanted to try out for a while, but I never really got around to it. Today I'm taking a look at the Glorious Model O Wireless. Now, why did I buy this? I bought this because it is an extremely lightweight mouse coming in at 69 grams compared to my current D502 light speed at 114 grams. I wanted something lighter and something that was also wireless. Plus, I've been meaning to check this out for a while, but their website says if you were to order them, they would be kind of late because of COVID-19 restrictions. So I did buy this on my favorite website, eBay, used, and I paid a little more for it than I wanted to. However, it is still in great condition. I bought this for... $95, $80 is retail, however this one is used and it came with some feet on the bottom that are much easier to glide with than the standard ones, so those are about an extra 10 bucks. so basically I did pay retail, however I paid $5 in shipping, so I would have had to pay more in shipping on Glorious's website, so if you think about it, at all of it, I did pay less than what I would have on the website. Alright guys, here we are right next to my G502 Lightspeed. I still have this right here just for comparison. But however, this will definitely not be replacing my 502 Lightspeed. It's just a lighter alternative to it and I've wanted to check out this for a while. So taking a look at the box, it says it has extreme lightweight design, wireless, G-Skates mouse feet, and a BAMP sensor. I'm assuming that's a really good sensor. Around the box, it does say Glorious PC Gaming Race. Ascend and wireless. Now, at the I love the box. It says model of wireless and it is reflective so you can see the colors. Now, with another thing this thing has is great RGB. It goes down the sides and the mouse wheel. If you take a look at my light speed, it's only on the side right here in the logo. So I'd like there to be a little more RGB. Not that that matters entirely, but just for the look of it. So let's open up the box. Give it a little shaky shake. I wish they had like little grips on the side so you could just pull it off easily. Oh wow, there it is. So you can see that they have the little indent for the mouse on the inside. Pushing that to the side. Here is the mouse in all its glory. Now this does come in two colors, black and white. I am more of a black kind of style person however I was really really thinking about getting the white one but I really just wanted to go with the black one pulling that out of the box wow just pulling this out of the box for the first time this thing is so light this feels so much heavier compared to this that is absolutely crazy now pulling that to the side um, we also have the extender that I did get with my G502 light speed in case I don't in case I am too far away from where the dongle is. This just comes out. And this is the dongle. It says glorious right on the edge. That's a nice touch. Um, another thing about this mouse, it is USB-C. I really wish we saw that on the G502 light speed. However, this is still micro USB. So we have our extender, we have the dongle. And pulling the box packaging out, we have the cable. Now I heard this is actually a really good cable. It's like a shoelace. You can almost flex it to no matter where you want, no matter where you need, while still using the new mouse. So this thing is also really nice. USB-C, of course, never can go wrong with it. However, I don't like these prongs on the side. I really don't see the need for them but you might need them for when you connect the mouse to the connector. Yeah, I don't really see a huge use right there, but it's fine. All right, putting this to the side, we do get a bright and shiny, glorious PC Gaming Race sticker. Always a nice touch. And our quick start guide with the RG, oh, I guess it's not, it's just warranty info. Get a hair. And of course, we get our silica basket. This is definitely something I've been waiting for. No, throw that away. I don't even see why they include that. I thought it did come with a manual, but this might be the small manual, and this might be the only thing that was included. All right, guys, I have plugged it in, so let's just turn it on for the first time. The power switch is underneath, so we just push it down. And there we go, wow. 
Look at that RGB. I mean, obviously this will be much better at night, but this thing looks awesome. Um, we got that honeycomb design. I've never used this before, so I'm very interested to see how it is. We got the PC Glorious Gaming Man on the side. And it says Glorious on the other side. Both great touches. Just holding this thing and having it glide, it is incredible. Obviously, I need to move my DPI up, but this is going to be great. And I seriously can't wait to try this mouse out. Alright guys, that's been it for this video. I am very, very much looking forward to trying this mouse this this mouse out and seeing how I like it. And if worst comes to worst, I don't like it. Then I'll just sell it. But in this case, just but upon first impressions, I think I will be very, very happy. But after all, um Follow my social media down below if you want to know about my personal life. Make sure to subscribe and like the video because it actually helps me out a lot and lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content. But for now, I will see you in the next video.